Jeannie, I need to ask you a favor. I was wondering if you would ask your sister to write Meadow a letter of recommendation. Is that too forward? Well, but she doesn't really know Meadow. But you do. And you could give her Meadow's transcripts, which are excellent, by the way. Her paper on the melting ice cap, it made me cry. It was so poignant. It was published in the Daily Caduceus. My sister, she's so busy. That's all. Really, Jean, if there is any way you could find your way to helping me out here. Alaska. Thank you, Jeannie. I think I goofed, Joni. I don't know how I got into this conversation, but Carmela Soprano from next door trapped me and asked me if I'd ask you to write her daughter a letter of recommendation to Georgetown. The gangster's wife? I'm sorry. She just blindsided me in the backyard, and what was I supposed to say? That I'm busy, which I am, that I don't even know the girl? Come on. You met Meadow, 4th of July, at our barbecue. That's not what I mean. Jeannie, you can't expect me to do this. It's just a letter. Bruce just wrote one to UVM. You do it all the time. Bring gangsters onto the Georgetown campus? I don't think so. Oh, spare me the elitist bullshit. They're my neighbors. Have you lost your mind? Carmela, ask me, Joan. What are you, frightened? What do you think they're going to do, put you in cement boots over a college application? It's not that. It's a question of manners. What am I supposed to say? That I'm writing a letter for someone else, which I am. A wonderful young Dominican boy from the projects with a 5.2 average. I have a reputation to protect. I knew you wouldn't do it. You want to be a doormat for the rest of your life? Just deal with it, Jeannie, okay? Listen, Carmela, I spoke to my sister about the letter for Meadow, and she's sorry, but she just can't do it. I'm sorry. She can't? Why not? Well, because she already wrote a letter for someone else, a wonderful young Dominican man from the housing projects with a 5.2 average and crack addict mother and cerebral palsy. So what does that mean? She can't send two? Did you think about asking one of the priests at the church? A letter from Father Intentola would probably mean even more, I bet, especially at Georgetown. I gotta go. Bye. Uh, good luck. Joan, hi. Is this a bad time? Always. <laughs> Come on in. Regard pie with pineapples. Oh, well. <laughs> I was in the neighborhood. My mother's foot surgeon is over here, so. Oh. Thank you. Uh, listen, Carmela, I think I know why you're here. My sister told me that you wanted me to write a letter to Georgetown for, um, Fielder, is it? A uh, Meadow. Oh, sorry. But I just can't do it. Well, I thought you would at least want to take a look at her grades and her SAT scores and some teacher comments before you made up your mind. I think she would be a wonderful addition to the Georgetown campus. Then I'm sure the admissions officers will see that. Well, I'm not sure that's true. The sad fact is, that's just not enough these days. I'm sorry, Carmela, but I, I can't do it. I don't think you understand. I want you to write that letter. Excuse me? I said I want you to write the letter. Are you threatening me? Threat what threatening? <laughs> I brought you a regard pie and a high school transcript so you could write a letter of recommendation for my little daughter to Georgetown. I'm an officer of the court. A lawyer. <laughs> Don't make me beg here. I've already written my last letter of support for this academic year. Well, how about this? I thought you could write a letter to Georgetown, tell them that you've discovered that Georgetown was not that person's first choice, and that, in fact, he was using Georgetown as a backup. I'm not going to tell you what to write. My sister said the ricotta pie was delicious, and the family loved it. She also said that she reviewed Meadow's transcripts and she was knocked the fuck out by those teacher recommendations. She sat right down and wrote a terrific letter to Georgetown. That's wonderful. Yeah. Do you have a copy? No, but I'll get you one. No problem. Thank you so much. Jean, you are a wonderful friend. Mwah.